I want to share with you one thing. If you if you just focus on this one tip, you'll lose the dream very easily. And in my opinion, this is the only thing you should, as a beginner, you should focus on if you're, especially if you're struggling to lose the dream, which a lot of people are. So before we get into it, obviously subscribe, give it a like, and check out my free video training in the description. So what is this one thing? So one thing is you should focus on what you can control versus what you can't control. So you can't really control when you lose a dream within reason. I mean, you can have an influence on it, but you can't ultimately force a lucid dream. At least most people can't. However, you can control what time you go to sleep, when, how often you do reality checks, or if you even do them, and how often you meditate. You can control those things directly. So instead of setting yourself a goal of, you know, I will have two lucid dreams this month, because you ultimately don't really control that. You should set a smart goal, which you do control. For example, you can say, I will meditate five minutes every day. And then you can decide whether you do that. It's not dependent on luck or anything like that. You just simply set yourself the goal and do it. And the same thing with sleeping. You could say, um, as one of your goals, I will go to bed at 10 and wake up at six and do that every day. And it's ultimately these small habits, these small decisions that will actually, you know, move you towards lucid dreaming more than anything else. And ironically, it is actually the stuff you can control that will determine whether you lucid dream or not. But what a lot of people make the mistake of doing is they'll set a goal like, I'll have five lucid dreams this week. And then of course, when they don't have five lucid dreams, they beat themselves up and say, oh, I'm, I'm terrible. I'll never be able to do it. Or it's difficult or it's impossible. But really the problem is you just set the goal wrong. You set yourself a goal that you don't really have control over. So you, you know, if you're setting yourself up for failure because then when you don't do it, then you assume you did something wrong when the truth is you just didn't set the goal in the right way. Whereas if you set the goal like directly about something you can control, like I will meditate five minutes a day, then you know that if you didn't do it, it's because of, some, it's because of you. It's not some random thing. It's outside of your control. Then you can just say, okay, well, tomorrow I'll make sure that I actually meditate for five minutes. And this applies to anything, by the way. You know, um, you need to break it down. Any goal, you need to break down into tiny steps that you have actually got control over because otherwise you're setting yourself up for failure. So break loose the dreaming down and maybe I'll make a whole full video about how to actually do this. But to start with, you know, break it down to the things that actually determine whether you lose a dream. And obviously luck is one big part of it, but a lot of it is to do with your sleep pattern. So how, you know, how regular your sleep cycle is. And you can control that by when you go to bed and when you wake up, you can control that. Another one is your level of general awareness, which is improved by meditating, which you can control. And then the third part is reality checks, which you can control. You can decide to do five reality checks a day. And there are several other things that you have influence over, direct control that will determine whether you lose a dream that you're probably not thinking about like for example coffee or caffeine if you're drinking coffee after 2 p.m it's been shown that it negatively affects your sleep that's something you can control you know just stop drinking coffee at two, after 2 p.m and there's of course the obvious ones you know like you shouldn't be drinking alcohol or taking drugs <laughs> or at least if you're going to do it don't do it on the nights you're trying to lose a dream because it's probably going to interfere with your REM sleep there's these kinds of things you know about now at least and you have control over them so that is the thing you should focus on because I see I see a lot of people do this right they'll say right I'm gonna get serious about lucid dreaming I'm gonna or whatever the goal is I'm gonna get serious about this I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it three times this month okay well how do you know that you will actually do it three times this month and it's also so vague you know how you don't know what will actually make it happen do you ultimately like remember the last time you lucid dreamed you i imagine would have difficulty telling me exactly what caused you to be lucid it just sort of happened didn't it it could have been the reality checks you did the day before it could have been your intention your inspiration your beliefs or or it simply could have been a random thought that you had you know or a random dream time that triggered uh, awareness or something that disturbed your REM sleep at just the right time it could have been anything and so it's outside of your control however the things that make it more likely lucid dreaming are in your control so just focus on those. You know, that's the that's the most logical way of doing it. If you don't know which of these things will actually make it happen, just do as many of the things that you can control and you'll make it more likely. So anyway, I go into way more detail on my training, um, which is in the description. Check it out and leave a comment telling me what has been the most effective tip for you. I will actually try and reply to everyone.